<laughs> yung ano, yan yung paglalagyan namin ng Metro Davao Police. Is that correct? Is that correct? Nati, nati RO kami ng Supreme Court eh. Baka pwedeng dagdag ni Mr. Soriano yung kwan. Police station dyan sa building na yan. Yes. Huh? We, Para... That is included. Uh, Senator, uh, that is included. Not only for that, let me mention of here uh, with, we, 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 before this committee that we will, only be, we will also be given not only to the not only to the judiciary but likewise to, to, to our NBI, even to the immigration and uh, of course our judiciary for that matter. Here. Very good. Para matakot na yung mga pugo mag-kidnap dyan sa area na yan pag may police station, di ba? That is correct. House Bill... 6581, authored by Congressman Edwin Olivares, creating three additional branch MTC lang, lower level. To be stationed in the city of Paranaque, and appropriating funds, therefore, is now under consideration. You have the floor, Mr. Soriano. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Senator Francis Tolentino, uh, uh, Senator Bat Bato de la Rosa. Mr. Congressman uh, uh, Olivares. Yeah, uh, Mr. Chair, we would like to ask for the indulgence for the absence of uh, the Honorable Congressman Edwin Olivares uh, for today's hearing in view of the fact that he is attending equally important uh, uh, activities in our city, in his district. And uh, we have an ongoing... Problema, inaana ko naman siya sa asal eh. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you for that, uh, Mr. Chair. Okay, so uh, Mr. Chair, in behalf of uh, the Honorable Congressman Daniel Olivares, we uh, respectfully move for the Honorable Committee for the approval of uh, House Bill uh, uh, 6581 uh, in view of the fact that the bargaining increase of uh, uh, population in our city very, and, and likewise the presence of uh, public edifice for our uh, uh, Hall of Justice in the city that we have provided with that, and then uh, likewise that the, the city is uh, uh, dispensing uh, public funds for allowances for all employees of our judiciary. That uh, likewise give reason for us to to seek for the approval of the, the proposed bill, Mr. Chair. And likewise, Mr. Chair, that uh, the, the current state of, uh, of uh, our city, the, the, the cases load filed before our judiciary particularly in the MTC, needs the fact really for the increase of, uh, of uh, additional uh, three requested uh, MTC branches for a station in our, in our city. Although at this point in time, Mr. Chair, we have uh, an existing seven stations of MTC in our city. But uh, uh, with our study, there is really a need that uh, we need to have an, uh, an additional uh, three branches to that effect uh, as subject to the proposed bill of 6581. That's all, Mr. Chair. Uh, so this would entail uh, all first level courts for uh, Paranaque, three additional branches. Uh, Supreme Court, uh, any comment on this? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, we support the uh, proposal to uh, create uh, three uh, metropolitan trial court uh, branches in uh, Paranaque City. At present, the uh, seven uh, METSIS uh, have a total uh, caseload of 2,215. So adding uh, three more uh, would help uh, uh, lighten up the uh, the uh, cases no uh, being uh, uh, handled no by the uh, judges there in uh, that particular station your honor thank you uh, uh, justice sa paranyake lagi naman ako nandito sa city hall ninyo puno na doon sa likod eh puno na sa likod uh, let, let me finish puno na sa likod yung 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 mga hall of justice natin and then i, I just uh, thinking out loud i realized that paranyake would would be entitled to a huge truck of land within the reclaimed area. May plano ba na doon natin lagay yung Hall of Justice? Yes. Doon sa uh, Mimoa na yon, doon sa dulo-dulo. Yes, uh, Your Honor, thank you for bringing that issue. As a matter of fact, uh, at this point in time, Your Honor, we have an existing uh, under construction, ongoing construction of a proposed uh, uh, satellite uh, city hall near, near within the Mawa area that, that is located uh, uh, the, 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 the demolished uh, unified uh, uh, building that was with, my uh, terminal before. That is correct, okay. sir. Uh, Your Honor, that's Paranaque is na ba may ari, no? Yes, we have. Uh, that is Paranaque. Then, no, na nakuha na ano? Expropriate nyo yon? No, we have we have one hectare property uh, adjacent to to uh, to to the demolished uh, unified uh, building right now. So it used to be owned by a certain Mr. Mr. Gao. Gao. Mr. Gao. Yeah, that is correct, Your Honor. And then the building that we have, that is a 15-story building located three. That's actually three uh, three buildings located in one hectare property adjacent to that area. Pinayagan kayo ng kaap kasi approach ng naiya yon. Yeah, we Pinayagan have. Pinayagan kayo ng kaap. Yes, yes. 
Your Honor. Approach ng naiya yon ng place. Ah, uh, near Marina, uh, Your Honor, near Marina area. Uh, within that area, Makapagal area, there is an existing uh, building right now, which I'm not mistaken, it's about 30, 30 story. So ours is only 15. That is within the threshold of the uh, uh, high clearance. Uh, the, 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 the newly soon to be established MTCs would be housed there? It could probably be there okay. because uh, the reason for that, uh, Your Honor, we have uh, one one building for that intended for us. Although we we, we were able to construct that building through PPP uh, process, one building was assigned to us, and that is a 15-story building uh, uh, to be to be named as a uh, satellite station, satellite city hall for Paranaque. With that, we intend to cater also government agencies, other government national agencies, including for that matter. RTs or uh, judiciary judiciary facility or judiciary allocation within our 15-story building, Your Honor. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, your, your Honor, baka pwede dagdag ni Mr. Soriano yung kwan. Police station dyan sa building na yan. Yes. Huh? We, Para... That is included, uh, Senator. Uh, that is included. Not only for that, let me mention of here uh, with we, we, we before this committee that we will only be we will also be giving not only to the not only to the judiciary but likewise to to, to our NBI, even to the immigration, and uh, of course our judiciary for that matter. Here. Very good. Para matakot yung mga pugo magkidnap yan sa area na yan pag may police station, di ba? That is correct. Tama tama. That is correct. Thank you. Paki paki sabi kay uh, Congressman na marami salamat ha. Yes, uh, yes, Congressman yeah. Olivares. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any. Opposition, Philippine judges, none. Philippine uh, Prosecutors League. And what do you P PLP, P P Prosecutors League. Prosecutors League of the Philippines, sir. We support the House Bill, Your Honor. Uh, DBM, how much would this cost? May building na sila, oh. 50 stories? Sir, for this bill, we estimated a 41.58 million annual requirements. But excluding pa po yung building 41.58 million po. Uh, yeah, your honor to that uh, 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 justice bilyan ba kung walang pera para niya akin ay magpagastos lahat uh, di ba for the uh, usually your honor uh, if uh, the uh, LGU uh, builds what i'm saying is this not just for the facilities Opa. the the salaries would be deposited to the trust account of the Supreme Court, uh -huh. funded by the LGU, uh -huh. and then it will be dispersed as if it came from the Supreme Court. Uh, uh, I think uh, it will have to uh, pass the test of uh, yung uh, cross-border uh, 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 appropriation, uh, Your Honor, from the executive. Has this been done before? Uh, no, I don't think so now, especially because of the decision of the Supreme Court, uh, Your Honor. Uh, uh, yung tukul sa DAP, uh, uh, case, Your Honor, involving uh, uh, President Aquino, uh, wherein uh, funds, savings were uh, declared early and then the funds were transferred from the executive branch to, uh, I, uh, the, I think, the legislative branch, Your Honor. The Supreme Court said that that cannot be because uh, that's considered cross-border. Uh, that's part of GAHA. This is not part of GAHA. The budget of uh, the Mr. Chair. Uh, Usually by donation po yun. What is only being given by, by, by our city is just an allowance yeah. to all our judiciary employees, including okay. judges for that matter, and even our fiscals and uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, and the and the uh, uh, justice department. We give allowances to them. That's that's pursuant, Your Honor, to the provisions of the local government code. Uh, so that's uh, allowed by law, Your Honor. But uh, yung nga yung binabanggit po ninyo na salaries mismo, in the form of salaries, I don't think... Uh, uh, it can pass up. Na trust fund. Uh, well, uh, siguro, Your Honor, we will look into it kasi to be honest about it, uh, especially now, our Chief Justice is uh, very conscious about uh, funds uh, coming from uh, other other uh, branches no, of the government, Your Honor. So, yeah, Yes po, pero yung sa LGU, of course, they, they generate their own income, Your Honor, uh, but still, it's coming from the executive branch. Uh, so, yun lang po yung kailangan tignan, Your Honor. Senator De La Rosa is very supportive of the Supreme Court. He was, he was the one who authored the Judicial Martial. He would want to have a Judicial Martial Air Force, Judicial Martial Army, Judicial Martial Navy, the entire three branches. So, Armed Forces, <laughs> off the record, John. Off the record, John. Off the record, John. 
of the that's of the record so any objections uh, from the other uh, uh, resource persons here hearing none the house bill number 6581 authored by congressman edwin olivares uh, is hereby approved and the same will be submitted to the plenary subject to a technical working group thank you very much your honor in behalf of congressman edwin olivares we are so thankful to the committee your honor thank you very much there is still one bill pending uh, and i think uh this is house bill 6589 uh filed by congressman paulo duterte and not creating 11 additional branches of the municipal trial court in cities in the 11th judicial region to be stationed in the city of davao and appropriating funds therefore said bill is now under consideration and we have a representative coming from the office of congressman duterte uh, attorney chris ignacio uh, are you authorized to speak on behalf of Congressman Pulong? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, good morning, uh, Honorable uh, okay, Chairman. Good, good, morning. <laughs> good morning, po. Uh, good morning, Honorable Chairman, uh, Senator Boos, uh, Francis Tolentino, Honorable uh, Senator Bato de la Rosa, our distinguished guests, and uh, all resource persons and attend attendees of this hearing. Uh, we would like to thank the Honorable Committee for taking up House Bill Number 6589, which is an act creating 11 additional branches of the Municipal Trial Court in cities in the 11th Judicial Region to be stationed in the city of Davao. A number of initiatives have been made to declog court dockets, the most significant of which is Republic Act Number 11576 or the Judiciary Reorganization Act of 2021 which expanded the jurisdiction of first-level courts in hopes to eventually declog second-level courts, particularly the RTCs. The first-level courts in the city of Davao are among those which are expected to be jam-packed with cases following the said increase in its jurisdiction. To date, there are only seven municipal trial courts in cities, uh, branches in Davao City. In contrast with the city of Manila, which has 30 MTCCs for its 1.8 million population and uh, Cebu City which has 14 MTCCs for its 900,000 population, Davao City needs additional MTCC branches relative to its 1.7 million population. At present, a total of 8,336 cases are pending before these seven MTCCs in Davao. Therefore, with regard to the constitutional mandate, to strengthen the right of every Filipino to a speedy dispos disposition of their cases before all judicial, quasi-judicial, or administrative bodies, this bill seeks to create 11 additional branches of MTCC for Davao City in order to decrease the pending cases before the city's judicial bodies and to ensure the swift administration of justice for every case filed. Uh, thank you, uh, Honorable Chair, Senator Boss Francis Tolentino. Thank you. Uh... Attorney Ignacio, uh, at, uh, Justice Villanueva, tama po ba yung records natin? Merong, merong sala uh, sa Davao na more than 1,000? Yes po, Your Honor. Branch 5, uh, 1,857. Yes po, Your Honor. 1,389. Branch 7, 1,433. Yes po, Your Honor. Uh, in fact, uh, the total number of cases no, for the seven branches of uh, Metropolitan uh, Municipal Trial Court in Cities in Davao City is 8,500, Your Honor, or an average of 1,215 uh, courts, no? I mean cases per court. That's why uh, we uh, support no, the uh, creation of additional uh, uh, MTCCs in Davao City. Our only, uh, of course, uh, uh, submission, uh, Your Honor, is that uh, there should be uh, a hall of justice that will house all of these courts, Your Honor. Sama na sila. Oh, kasi hindi po kasya na dun sa... No, sa... Matanong ko lang, Justice, okay. bakit po yung Davao City Family Court, Branch 6, hindi nyo pa na-organize? Na-organize na ba to? Uh, I think uh, I think it's uh, it's not yet operational. It's organized, Your Honor. What uh, it uh, what uh, what is uh, the situation there is that uh, uh, we have yet to pro provide uh, a court for uh, uh, the statutory family court, but there is already an ongoing construction of uh, the building, Your Honor. So the reason why it's not considered operational yet because it doesn't have a courtroom, but uh, it has a uh, sufficient number of uh, personnel already. So may advanced na caseload na po siya, no, na family cases. Bakal dito pa napunta yung si Judge Tolentino. Uh, 
nung just, na justice na ngayon, Your Honor? Uh, sa CA. Oh, yes po. Si Ronald. Pa, oh, uh, meron pa isa. Uh, Wala na ba? Siya lang po. Uh, yung isa na na-promote, yung kapatid po niya as RTC judge. Yes. Uh, baka Bakit siya po. Ito? Ito yung... Maari po, Your Honor. Uh, Nag-ooperate. Na, uh, Nag-ooperate na po, Your Honor. Wala lang courtroom. Kaya ang nangyayari, bi, uh, nirarafulan po siya ng family cases, uh -huh. pero hindi under uh, family court branch 6. Under the court where she is an assisting judge, kung siya po yung na-appoint doon, pero advanced po yun. Kaya yung isang court po dyan, Uh, kung saan siya assisting, actually includes her caseload. Thank you. Senator De La Rosa from Dabao. Tanoy ko lang, Mr. Chairman, si Attorney Chris Ignacio. Kung uh, uh, do you believe, uh, Attorney, na with the creation of these new courts, ma-resolve na kaya yung lahat ng mga kaso na pinahil ko ng police pa ako dyan sa Dabao? <laughs> ma-resolve na kaya lahat yun? <laughs> uh, yes, Your Honor, Honorable uh, Senator, uh, we hope ma-resolve po uh, expeditiously yung mga cases, sir. Thank you, thank you. Pana, uh, pero lang yun, uh, with your respect sa ating mga judges dyan sa Dabao, mabilis yan mag-dispose ng uh, kaso. Mabilis yan. Uh, yung ibang mga nadidelay lang, yung mga yung mga mga unique na mga uh, kung lang yun, kaso, pero yung akin naman mukhang ubos na. Diba? Pakicheck na lang doon, mukhang ubos na talaga. At ano yung mga Dabao City Police. Thank you, Attorney. Regards mo ko kay Congressman uh, Pulong. Thank you. Thank you po, Senator Batang.